It was early one morning, Willie Leonard arose and straight to his comrade's bedchamber he goes. He says, rise up, beloved comrade, let nobody know. It's a bright summer's morning and a bathing we'll go. And they walked and they talked until they come to the lane. There they met with the keeper of game. He says, go back, Willie Leonard, do not venture in this deep and false water in the lakes of Champlain. But Willie stripped himself off and he swam the lake around and he swam to an island not to dry ground. He says, go back my comrade do not venture in there is deep and false water in the lakes of Champlain. Early next morning, Willie's sister arose and straight to her mother's bedchamber she goes. She says, Mother, oh, mother, I've had a true dream. And I dreamed I saw Willie in the cold, watery stream. It was early next morning, Willie's mother was there. She was wringing off her hands, tearing her hair. She says, Murder, oh, murder, was nobody nigh to venture there. For me own darling boy So we'll all go down to Martins Martins by the shore Hire us a small boat As we've done before We'll row the dark waters All around and around Till we see if Willie Leonard's Fair body can be found To see Willie's funeral would be a fine sight that before and twenty young men, all dressed in white, would take him to the graveyard, lay him in the clay, and we say, Farewell, Willie, and go weeping away. To see Willie's sister would grieve your heart sore, to see Willie's mother would grieve your heart more, to see Willie's true love would give your heart pain. Deep and false water in the lakes of Champlain. That was um, an English version of an American version of a English version of an Irish song, really. It's folk music, you know. It's what happens. City, there's a band called uh, Last Forever, and uh, the leader of the band's called Dick Connett. And I think he's a very clever man. He uh, 
he took a John Cohen recording of a traditional song called Pretty Saro. John Cohen had recorded a man called Kaz Wallin singing it in the town of Sodom, North Carolina. Do you know how happy that makes me? And uh, Dick rewrote the words and he did it beautifully taking bits from other traditional songs. It's a very hard thing to do, rewrite traditional songs. But I think he did it beautifully. And uh, the singer in the band Last Forever is Sonia Cohen, who's John Cohen's daughter, which is nice and circular. This is called Bachelor's Hall. Try to forget 
her, I wish I knew how. For I once loved her dearly, and I don't hate her now. Kelly Wilde, ladies and gentlemen. I lived in uh, <clears throat> New Orleans for about three and a half years before I left the States. And I became an enormous fan of the gentlemen who drive the mule carts around the French Quarter because they are the biggest, best bullshitters in the whole world. They just make fabulous stories up. And the very first one that I ever came across, he had one line which he obviously loved dearly. He said, Ladies and gentlemen, Louisiana got the best politicians that money can buy. <laughs> Scarily, horribly true. When you're playing with other people, you've got to be in tune with them, not just yourself. So I keep looking over here. This is a, a song about a bent copper in New Orleans who tries it on one time too many. Andy Seward on the bass, ladies and gentlemen. 
We're going to uh, do something which I actually believe is against the Geneva Convention now. Should be. We're going to do an, um, a banjo and accordion duet. <laughs> Generally makes them go home. They're still here. They must be having a good time. The doors are locked. That'll be it. Two tunes. The first is. Uh, it's called Pretty Crowing Chicken. It's, a, um, it's an, an air, basically. Thank you. 
That gentleman on my right there, making fabulous noises with the accordion, is Mr. Andy Cutting, ladies and gentlemen. I started this whole proceeding with a tune. I'm going to play it to you again because this is the instrument that I wrote it on and I think it sits well with this tune, so this ballad. At Miller Tifty there lived a man in the neighborhood of Fivey, and he had a fine, lovely daughter dear, whose name was Bonnie Annie. Her bloom was like the springing flower that hails the rosy morning, where Sense and grace likewise, a lovely face adorning. And five he had a trumpeter whose name was Andrew Lammy, and he had the art for to gain the heart of Miller Tifty Zanny. Proper he was, both young and gay. His like was not in Fivey, nor was one there that could compare to this same Andrew Lamy. Tifty's Annie 
And this trumpeter roared him before Even this same Andrew Lamy And her mother called her to the door Says, come here to me, my Annie Oh, did you ever see a prettier man Than the trumpeter of fight? Nothing she said, but sighing so Alas for Bonnie Annie For she did not own that her heart was won By the trumpeter of fire At night when all went to their beds All slept full soon, but Annie Love so pressed her tender breast Thinking on Andrew Lamy Oh, love comes in at my bedside And love lies down beside me Love has possessed my tender breast And love will waste my body But now, alas, her father heard that the trumpeter of Fivey had had the art for to gain the heart of his daughter, Bonnie Annie. And Tifty soon a letter wrote, and he sent it on to Fivey for to say his daughter was bewitched by the servant Andrew Lamy. Then up the stairs his trumpeter he called full soon and shortly pray tell me now what is this you've done to Miller Tifty's Annie. Oh in wicked art I had no part nor therein am I Canny. It was love alone, the heart is one of Miller Tifty's Annie. Oh, beat a Miller Tifty's pride, for it has ruined many. They'll not have it said that she should wear to the trumpeter or fight. Tifty, give consent and let your daughter marry. No, it would be to one of a higher degree than the servant Andrew Lamy. Had she been born as rich in kin, as she is rich in beauty, oh, I should have taken the lass myself and made a queen of Fivey. Now Fivey's lands are far and wide, and they are wondrous bonny, but I would not trade my own dear love for all your lands of Fivey. At this her father did her scorn, and likewise did her mother, and her sisters too did her disown, all but all be to her brother. For her brother struck her wondrous sore with cruel blows and many, and he broke her back against the temple stone for liking Andrew.
your mother, father, sisters dear, why so cruel to your Annie? My heart was broken first for love, now my brother broke my body. Oh mother, mother, go make my bed and turn my face to fivey, and it's there I'll lie and there I'll die for loving and you At Miller Tifty there lived a man in the neighborhood of Fivey and he had a fine lovely daughter dear whose name was Bonnie Annie Andrew Lamy Slick. <laughs> we did have teams of roadies, but we sent them home, actually, to be honest. <laughs> And you 
Thank you very much. Richard Thompson wrote that. It's good, Richard. this song about my dad. My dad was born in 1899 and he fought in both world wars and he didn't marry until he was 52 and he had me when he was 54 which is exactly how old I am now. So my dad would be 108 if he was still here. died in 
So you could save your seaside town from the bombers of the Han. And you were never any good with money. You couldn't even hold a job. Not steady enough for the office. Not hard enough for the Han. You'd rather be finding the night jar's nest. Fishing with your split cane rod. You were never any good with money. You couldn't even hold a job When my mother came to your door With a baby in her arms And her big hurt boy, just nine years old Trying to keep her from harm If you had been a practical man Then you would have been forewarned And you would have seen that it never would work And I would have never been Proper work in your seaside town So we moved here looking for a job You were storming at the power station Just before I came along And nobody talked about how you quit But I know that's what you did My mother said you were a selfish man And I was your selfish kid You were never any good with money You couldn't even hold a job not steady enough for the office Not hard enough for the heart And your Norton, it was soon gone Along with your split cane rod You were never any good with money You couldn't even hold a job You showed me Eyebright in the hedgerow Speedwell and Traveler's Joy You showed me how to use my eyes When I was just a boy and you taught me how to love a song And all you knew of nature's ways These are the greatest gifts I've ever known And I use them every day Oh, you were never any good with money You couldn't even hold a job Not steady enough for the office Maybe not hard enough for the heart You'd rather be riding your Norton Going fishing with your split cane you were never any good with money You couldn't even hold a job It's been a real pleasure to play for you, thank you Thank you Oh, all right then. Thank you so much. Good morning, Mr. Railroad Man. What time do your trains roll by? 916, 244, 25 minutes till 5. 916 and 244, 25 minutes till 5. Thank you.
Thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you. Kelly Weil on the vocals. Andy Cutting on the accordion. Andy Seward on the stand-up bass. Thank you. Martin Simpson.